previously on Into the Yonder Void. So we're on a boat, a big ship, and we do not have enough people to man it, and there is a giant storm coming in, and things are not looking great. But I did get Biscuit into the water, and he found some friends, and maybe they can help us. But they might need to pick up the pace a little bit because there's this floating man who just showed up. The D20 Syndicate presents Into the Yonder Void. Welcome back to the <laughs> D20 Syndicate Podcast. Hey, hey. 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 <laughs> A weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5E actual play podcast. I am your host and DM, Seth, and around the table we have our players. I'm Billy and I play Nezra. I'm Tomas and I play Gilderbrand. I'm Lindsay and I play Fee. And I'm Michaela, and I play Can. <laughs> That's right. Each week we record for your listening pleasure. This is season two, episode 61. 61. 61. My I don't know 401k is doing terribly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the 60th one. <laughs> uh, yeah. We should all be so lucky. <laughs> We won't be. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for tonight's Around the Campfire question. Oh, yeah. Ooh, do you spend <coughs> rain music <coughs> at the fire? <coughs> do we have to pay them because we <coughs> did not hire musicians? Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Oh shit, this is good. Oh, we need to add some words. So many add words. I feel like it's always me. It shouldn't be me. Somebody add words. I guess it's gonna be me. But it'd be really cool if someone else did something and not words. me. I guess words, that counts as word. his word. <laughs> <laughs> that always feels really Watch. good. <laughs> yeah, you're always just vibing and dancing. <laughs> Eyes closed, head back. Yeah, because it's always style. like right in my ears. It's just nice. What's the question? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> what were we doing? We were doing campfire, campfire sounds. And, uh, we did acid trip kumbaya again and forgot what we were doing. It was the campfire. Billy, where did pants go? <laughs> did this tamale pie have like other stuff in it? It was a tamale pie. Tamale. Two mollies. Oh my god, who's Molly? Two mollies, please. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my friend Molly. Tonight's around the campfire question. There are classic elements in this world, and I want to know which one you resonate most with and why. Flame. And for your reference, you've got earth, fire, water, air, lightning, and then, you know, a few others. But what, what element do you uh, most closely resonate with? And I'm going to start mm. with Fee. I thought this was cut and dry, but I don't know. <laughs> Are you sure you want to start with me? Starting with Fee. Just okay. Go. Just, just go. <laughs> Hippo fart. <laughs> I, yeah, just general fart sound out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so the elements, I mean, there's some that I would strive to be towards, but I think it just, the main one probably is fire, just because... I mean, fire can be calming and comforting when it's in like a campfire setting, but it also can be fierce and uh, powerful. And I guess that kind of just, I feel like it describes me pretty well, I guess. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Nezra. I'd like to imagine that I resonate closest with Earth uh, just because I love nature and animals. Excellent. Gil. I would say that I probably associate most with air because 
I am very easygoing and breezy, and I move around like... Sunday morning. <laughs> I wanted to say something that rhymes, but it's okay. I move around in a misty Without fashion. Care. <laughs> yeah, that rhymes. Without <laughs> care. Z. <laughs> Excellent. And can. Water. Why? Because I feel very at home in water. I grew up around it. I like the way it smells when it comes from the sea. Um, I like swimming in it. I'm a very good swimmer. I like all the critters that live in there. I find lots of cool stuff in there. The water is mysterious. It's deep. It's vast. I love it. Excellent. Well, you guys all described the four classic elements. I didn't yeah, know that wow, was Yeah, wow, that's yeah. crazy. Nice what about... Look at us. Heart. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do this on purpose? Is heart. this that's the gems? Crumb. <laughs> crumb. <laughs> heart. I've got the heart. Yeah. I, I brought a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I <stood with> the <laughs> baby. Shit, whose heart is that? <laughs> it was real heavy. I'll stab you right in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shall we get started? Yes. Yeah. God, this food needs to get through my body. <laughs> At least disperse a little bit. Wait, it was Fee Fire? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fee right. Fire Fo Fum. Why? <laughs> I was like, so, uh, I'm like, I think she would maybe want to be Earth, but she's just not. I think it makes sense. Tea with is her. Earth. Fire mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But if you don't contain a fire, it will spiral out of control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we must contain you. <laughs> yeah, Build me a box. box. <laughs> All of those made sense. Yeah. Just back in Put your me box. in a big box and Put where, her in where the you place. keep fire. <laughs> <laughs> Foolproof. It's fine. The boo box. <laughs> Not the boo box. Oh, Put yes. her in the yes. fire box the again. Box. God. Glenn <laughs> Close. Yeah, as a kid, that fucking terrified me. Yeah, dude. What are you talking about? The boo box from, from Hook. Hook. Oh. Fuck. Torture. Yeah. Kids movies, you know. That, oh, speaking of torturing kids movies, uh, the Chokey and Matilda. Oh, yeah, that oh, made me feel man. some type of way. Yeah, that was like, mm, oh. yep. Maybe that's why I was scared of authority for. Is that Peter and the Wolf? No. Oh. Tchaikovsky. I could see Never how that would make Tchaikovsky. people scared of authority. Didn't he do Peter and the Wolf? I feel like this is Peter and the Wolf. It's from Swan Lake. Oh, that's what I'm thinking of. There is a, a day in music His first class. name is Piotr. Maybe that's why mm. it's Piotr. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pee on this friggin' otter, jeez. <laughs> that's old Piotr over there, Tchaikovsky. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's smirking about it. Can't hold his vodka. He pisses all over otters. I don't get it. He's a fucking sicko. <laughs> you sick fuck job. If get the fuck so out of here. If you were so talented, you'd have been kicked out of this, you know, village a long time ago, buddy. <laughs> Plop him down in front of them keys, though, and he just puts those kids right to sleep. I'll tell you what. Everyone knows the pee attracts fucking cougars. <laughs> <laughs> that otter's toast. And then we got fucking otters <laughs> running around attracting cougars, and they're fucking hiding in our houses, and you fucking, you got cougars in the house then. And then the cougars are attracting ants. <laughs> 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 and that's the last thing we freaking want. <laughs> cougars yeah. I can deal with. Piss ants. Because we lost all the lids for our food. <laughs> so now we got all these ants. God. Fucking cougars. <laughs> Burn the whole fucking village down, I swear to God. And the most ironic thing was the bathroom was right there, <laughs> the whole time, right by him. Oh, it was a vendetta. He definitely pissed <laughs> on the otter on purpose. He did it on purpose. So anyway, Dungeons Dragons. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. Oh, but uh, when we no. <laughs> when we last left off, you guys were encountering a myriad of different things. You were mm -hmm. on the sea at the essentially right in front of a massive storm, and in front of that massive storm was an individual floating in front of it. You released Biscuit into the water to retrieve some friends, and a two-headed dolphin appeared, and some sort of large, immature turtle. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Is he a teenage turtle? <laughs> and he's a monk. Uh, <laughs> he was in the sewer. <laughs> uh, Pizza. And yeah, this uh, cowled robed individual floated down from ahead of the storm and landed on the deck just as we ended. Oh, yes, and an albatross yeah. began to glow along with the staff on 
Nezra's. The glowing back. albatross whom I was feeding. Cowlabunga, by the way. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Before I forget. <laughs> <laughs> gotta get that in there. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. <laughs> Before I forget. <laughs> yeah, Calabunga. Uh, Calabunga. So, you, are, you have this individual standing about 100 feet away from you on the other side of the deck, and now Nez's staff is glowing. Do I see this? Also, you guys notice as you look at Nez, um, Nez might not notice this, but your horns are now considerably smaller. But not gone. Hmm. Weird. Now they're about six inches long. Oh. Are they still branchy? A little bit. A little bit? More little like baby, a branches. baby reindeer kind of Aww. antlers? Okay. Fine. Interesting. Did that just happen? Uh, the light did. No, you're not sure when the antler thing happened. Interesting. <laughs> hmm. What is this guy doing at the end of the boat? Just standing, looking around. The storm, weirdest of all, the storm seems to have kind of stopped where it was. Hmm, okay. I knew there was something funny about the late storm. P's immediately going to just, like, coil back her hands and just, like, (laughs) start to kind of be like, who, (laughs) just freaking out and maybe even starting to get some of that season-switching light and just will yell, who the fuck are you? It's very windy out. You're not sure. Yeah, if he's pretty you. far away, we might want to. If we're going to engage in conversation, <laughs> we, we should probably take okay. a step to pull over there. <laughs> I'm more concerned about the albatross. I'm also interested in and distracted by glowing albatross. Sure. So you two you are, guys are all all about You guys are all about the animal shit. You look at this bird. We're yeah. going to go talk to this dude at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. 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 I feel like so as captain, I what I did. envoy <laughs> along with you. Yeah. All right, so you guys are going to start approaching the figure? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Are, you being, are you just marching forward, or how, how are you approaching? What's your, what's so, your general vibe? Since we're going to scratch what I said before, um, Fee is trying to maintain composure, but you can see that her skin color is just... Like and her hair and everything is just cycling through the different seasons. She's starting to get really freaked out, and she basically has her arms up and ready as we're just walking forward. Well, she is. I don't think we should scratch what you said. I think it's interesting that you defaulted to that, and we had to like. Well, but calm it you wouldn't make sense bit. if we're that far, though. I mean, maybe you yelled. He's he's not like impossibly far away, right? He's yeah, hundred feet. Yeah. Um, but it's really windy. So okay. not, I, I was going to say, you're not sure if they would have heard you or not. Okay. Well, um, yeah, then scratch that. <laughs> Fee will just charge forward, basically. You're just running at him? Well, not running, but I mean, actually, yeah, probably. Okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna walk casually. Okay, with- so Fee, you are charging toward this mm-hmm. individual? Yeah. Okay, um, give me a will or a wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> Four. Ooh. Uh, as you are like charging forward, Fee, uh, you just watch as this individual like casually raises their hand, and this like column of like black cloud swirls out of the storm, and like lightning strikes at you, and r- like basically surrounds you like a dome and shoves you back. I'm gonna need a dexterity save. Okay. 17? 17. Uh, yeah, you stumble back. You don't fall, but you are, th- you are like hurled back about 20 feet from where you were. And it felt strong. And as you guys are like looking at this individual, now you can see that those tendrils are kind of like raised up behind it on the, like on the other side of the ship, like outside the ship from the storm, like tendrils that are very, very long, like maybe even hundreds of feet long, uh, off in the distance, like standing up as if he's got like a, almost like a, a peacock tail. But he's not making any aggressive movements. I'm going to turn back to uh, Nez from here. I'm like, hey, and I'm going to toss my tooth at you. Um, Hang on to that in case I need to say some shit to you. Uh, You're pretty distracted. What's your passive perception? I think perception is 12. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you... uh, you don't even notice. It just bounces against yeah, <laughs> your chest and like hits the ground. Could Can catch it? 
I don't know, Lindsay. <laughs> What's? Do I notice the tooth okay, hitting the ground? Uh, yeah, you would you would notice. I pick it up. Okay. I've had dealt with a tooth before. All right. I stick it in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> right, I look at Ken, I'm like, do something with it. He's is that the vet? Uh, and then I'll go over to Fee, make sure she's okay. Yeah, Fee. Um, yeah, you got shoved back, but not hurt. Um. So Fee, first lesson about being on the ocean. Uh, <laughs> probably don't just straight up charge at the bad guy. We don't know what he's capable of yet. As we walk up closer to him, let us size him up with our eyeballs. <laughs> Fee, Fee's right now just kind of cycling through seasons and is just like, kind of like heavily panting and just looking at him like... Like, I'm trying to hold my shit together. I can't tell and if you're getting anything I'm saying on right now. Can you give me some sort of sign that you're picking up what I'm stepping in? <laughs> and I'll, yeah, be able to just give a nod and just kind of, like, dust herself off and just, like, have her arms ready just to go again, basically. All right, now we'll turn to the cowled guy. And I'll kind of uh, bow and then start, like, casually walking, holding my rapier. Well, uh, the cane. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get to about, like, 30 feet away, he, like, twitches a finger, and you see, like, this wall of, like, compressed air kind of rise up in front of you. That is far enough. All right, welcome to my ship. My name is Gildebrand, and this is the Windrunner. <laughs> welcome. The figure's just kind of like looking around still as if trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Almost disinterested in, in like your presence, but trying to keep some some distance. And then their head snaps back. Why did you charge me? Um, <laughs> he's going to kind of like, since he went ahead and talked, I guess she's kind of maintained some more composure to get a grasp enough to talk. Um, and um, I'll just say, who the fuck are you? Why are you here? We we don't know why you're here. And I, d I mean, you could hurt us. We don't know your intent. There's a long silence. I am not here to hurt you. Nez and Can. Hmm. You guys are staring at this albatross. It's It was glowing, and then it slowly fades. Nez, do you typically have this kind of interaction with large birds? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I can't say that I do. <laughs> and now your staff is like no longer glowing as well. Okay. I noticed it before. Uh, yeah, you would have seen it like glowing behind you. Okay. Um, I still speak with animals. I'm going. Probably, yeah, for like maybe another 30 seconds. Yeah. Sick. Get in there. Uh, so, Bird, you were glowing quite a bit with this guy. Is there some kind of connection we should know about? Yeah. What's up? I feel compelled to come here and seek respite. We'll take a load off. He wants respite. <laughs> he just needs to rest? A bit. <laughs> does, does he have a name? What's your name? I don't know. Oh, he doesn't have one. This is another biscuit situation. Oh, that's so cute. It, like, starts, like, hopping around looking at you, Nez, and then it, like, looks behind you, and you can tell that it's looking at that staff. All right, I'm gonna... Whap him with it. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna quickly Night break him. its neck and <laughs> harvest its organs. Fair. No, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the, the staff out. Is this what you're interested in? And it, like, gets really excited and starts, like, pushing its beak up against the staff. What do you want with the staff? I don't know. I like it. Well, how are you even going to carry a staff? You're a bird. I don't know. 
<laughs> well, we can figure it out together. Um, can I inspect the staff to see if there's like a mechanism? See if there is it. Is it hollow? Does it sound uh, solid? You can uh, give me uh, either a perception check or an arcana check. Ness, have you tried talking to the bird? I have not. Ness, maybe you should try talking to it. Maybe you guys have like a a glow a glow connection. Can you talk to me? And inside your head, Nez, you hear, yes. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> mm-hmm. He wants sex from you. <laughs> <laughs> I am not putting the staff where you want it. <laughs> I did that once before I learned my lesson. <laughs> I am wanted in 50 states. <laughs> um. <laughs> All 50. <laughs> you guys don't know Puerto about Rico. the secret seven states. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> um. Well, uh, I, I believe I can hear a voice in my head. Um, what? So, what, you don't know why you're compelled by the staff? It's like a, there's like a pause and then almost as if someone is considering their words very carefully, almost as if they're trying to speak around something. That's the sense you get. Oh. I know what the staff is. This creature does not. Oh, how did you come to inhabit this creature? I inhabit all who fly with feathers and beaks. All avian species are under my domain. Cool. Does this ring any bells to me? Give me a... History? Religion check. Religion. Mm. Proficiency. 18. You know that in Argaria, that, that would sound like really weird, but you've heard of like very like far off distant... Uh, rumors in other lands of certain deities whose domains are under, you know, different things outside of Argaria. And you vaguely remember, with an 18, you vaguely remember uh, mention of an avian god. And you know that this avian god can't, it basically like created, according to myth, most of the avian species. Uh, that exist on the planet. Okay. Um, uh, I will allow you to give me a history check, just a straight history check, uh, to see if you remember that god's name. Fifteen? You think, you're pretty sure you remember that this god's name is Karif. Karif. With a C? With a C, yes. C-A-R-I-F. Would you happen to be Karif, by any chance? Ah... You, who have traveled so far, know of my origin. I've, I've read here and there. Interesting. And then, can now you can suddenly hear this voice. Ooh. Only in my head? Only in your head. The albatross is still, like, looking around, like, rubbing itself against that staff. Okay, so I suddenly hear this voice. I'm just, like, he- like coming in at the tail end of yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, you guys have been talking this whole time. Oh, you can hear him now too? Yeah. So, this albatross is actually inhabited by the avian god Karif. Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, he uh, is kind of responsible for and inhabits all winged, beaked life forms. Well, what does he want us to do? I think he wants to tell me about or talk about the staff, but I think he wants to do so in secret. Like, so the bird doesn't hear? <laughs> I think more to do with me. So maybe if I give you the staff and you guys talk about it, and I'll take a walk. Okay. And I hand the staff over to Ken. Okay. And do you take a walk? Yeah, I'm going to uh, put some distance between us. Are you heading toward where they are or somewhere else? I'll, I'll, I'll do like a, a little halfway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and just for good measure, I'm just going to kind of plug my ears mm-hmm. and... 
<laughs> gotcha. So yeah, you start walk <laughs> fingers in your ears, walking towards this <laughs> other side of the ship, and you immediately feel like almost as if you're like walking through spider webs. You feel like that mm. sense that you had where you were able to communicate kind of cuts off. Oh, like okay, you were perfect. walking outside of a radius. Okay. But can you still feel this like sense? I see I am talking to you now. Yeah. He's gone. It's just you and me, Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Back to <laughs> Fee, Gil, and eventually Nez. Um, well, if you're not here to cause trouble, why are you here? You just chilling on the seas and stuff? Yes. Something like that. All right. Well, why are you on the boat? Do you want to hang out or something? We got some food and shit probably down below. I stopped here because I saw that this was the only ship for miles. And also, I sensed presences here of which I am familiar and have not sensed in a long time. I feel like I would remember somebody like you, but there's also a good chance I do not. <laughs> um, can you give me a hint, see, or something? I am not sure myself, but there is some familiarity here. Someone aboard this vessel has a connection to mine own lineage. Very distantly removed. Well, who are you? I. And they, like, remove their... Nice. Their <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> remove their cloak. Sorry, that threw me off. Uh, they remove their cloak and, uh, and drop uh, it to the ground, and it, like, gets picked up in the wind and sucked into the storm. Cool. And standing before you is this very muscular individual. You realize now that the cloak weirdly sort of cowled their true height because they're probably nine mm. or ten feet tall. They're fucking massive and they're super muscular. They have like wispy grayish green hair that flutters independently of the breeze. It's kind of going in its own direction. They have like like l almost translucent green skin and loose fitting robes underneath or loose fitting clothing underneath that cloak. Uh, and they look at both of you. I am Arthe, and I am the djinn of this era. Oh, like the drink or <laughs> <laughs> like the, the lampy genie kind? Closer to the latter. Okay. Give uh, me, uh, <laughs> give me history checks, both of you. You could have it with advantage, uh, Gil. 19? All right. Maybe I read about him. That's a 10. Uh, with advantage? Yeah. But, hey, I'll see what a D6 gives me since I wasted it last yeah. time. 14 total. Okay, um... Yeah, Fee, you've you've read about Jin. You've read about some of the different types of genie in the world, um, and you know that they're kind of you know separated by different um, elements. Mm. And a Jin primarily refers to those that are of the air element, um, and so they're you know an elemental of some variety, uh, you know, from a different plane. And you, with your fourteen. Uh, Gil, you've heard lots of rumors of like sailors and pirates off in the far reaches of the world encountering jinn or daos or freets or any of the, you know, genie types. Um, jinn, from what you remember, are usually fairly benevolent. Um, if it wasn't, you know, an afreet or a, or a dao, you might be more concerned, but they're, they're rumored to be fairly, you know, non-aggressive. Do they usually hide in the storms and stuff? They are typically associated with storms. Okay. So, uh, well, that kind of changes things. Actually, we're kind of in a pickle right now. Uh, could we, like, make 
like a sacrifice to you or um, something Gil, so we can go Gil, really fast. And then and the, you arrive right as he's saying sacrifice or something. <laughs> so we can go way fast on this ship, you know? We're kind of stuck in the middle of the ocean. We need to get to land and we need to find the crew and shit. So. Okay, um, one second, sir. Gil, you can't just offer to sacrifice all of a sudden. Ah, uh, that's fine. Do you G- even know anything about Jin? Yeah, they're kind of the good ones. They're not like crazy evil genies. And from what I've read, is that what I know? Too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, generally. And uh, from stories I've heard, they've uh, if you appease them, they can give you perpetual wind in your sails, and that's the kind of shit we need. I right mean, now, yeah, but but me. doesn't a ritual seem a little too far? You uh, went straight to ritual. Like maybe have no, an in between. I, I went straight to sacrifice. <laughs> I didn't say anything about crazy I mean, rituals and it's, shit. It's like well, <laughs> well, sacrifice is too far too. Let's just well, what if he wants pedal something? it back a little bit. Maybe want something smaller like food. Well, look, rest. I already said it. I already As you said see it like openly. Interacting like this, do you say anything? As or? an aside, uh, does know it all, Nez? Uh, <laughs> recognize the vessel that Aerith? Aerith? Uh, uh, Athe. Athe. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, that Athe has taken? Uh, as a djinn? Yeah. Um, give me a... You can give me an arcana check. Okay. That's a nat 20 for a total of 26. Uh, yeah. Uh, in fact, you have heard (laughs) of Athe before, (laughs) Nez. Uh, you read a story about a half djinn Mm. named Athe... Who, a cocktail as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, half gin, half vodka. Um, <laughs> uh, named Athe, who is like a perpetual wanderer, assen- wanderer uh-huh. essentially. Okay. Um, always seems to have some goal, and, and Athe is known for thinking of themselves as a bit of a protector of the material plane, uh-huh. in a sense, especially when it comes to... Uh, uh, Things that are, like, in a similar domain to his. Okay. Okay. Um, so seeing seeing him there mm-hmm. and th- them two, like, squabbling and stuff, Nez is just going to kind of excitedly step in between them, mm-hmm. like, not even meaning to or, or, you know, to be rude or anything, but, oh, wow, I've only read about Jin. I've never actually seen one before. Guys, this is Athe. I know, he already introduced himself to me, by the way. <laughs> it is such an honor to meet you. Are you able to help us get our ship to port? Maybe for a, a, maybe in exchange for, are you, I guess, what are you looking for? Rest? Because I did not come here for rest. I came here because it was interesting to see a ship so brazenly standing before my storm. Hmm. We definitely meant no disrespect to your storm. It's a very formidable <laughs> and <laughs> daunting storm. Yeah, good storm. To disrespect a storm would be meaningless. You would be fools to do so. I take no offense. I was merely interested and, as I mentioned, I sensed something familiar aboard. Well, we like to let the winds take us where they may, storm or no. And we've had our fair share of storms that we've weathered together. I see you are travelers, and... He sucks in a big breath of air, and you guys kind of feel the air around you kind of pull away as he, like, kind of sucks it in. You have traveled far, but some on this ship taste of the astral. You have traveled through the astral, but you are from this plane. That is correct. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Is my shadow acting any certain way right now? Uh, If you were to look at your shadow, you would see that it is stock still. Which is weird because usually it's like moving around and dancing, but it's stock still as if it's very interested in this interaction. Mm. So we don't already know if one of us is from astral, right? The astral. Because I don't know shit about We all were stuck in the astral when <laughs> Nez right. blew the horn. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
we did take a detour uh, through the astral plane uh, by accident uh, recently, I guess you could say. Yes, and some of you, some of you are connected to other worldly beings. Oh, in what way? Can you tell? Yes, you have made contracts. Not me, though, right? <laughs> I, I might have made contracts, but I don't recall <laughs> adhering to them. <laughs> I sign a lot of shit, People guy. can get me to sign shit when I'm inebriated. <laughs> um, do you mean the contract that we had with the... Uh, the mushroom people of Anoka? He's talking no, about no, being I, I a think, warlock, Yeah, dude. he's talking about that one, yeah. Are you trying to hide shit from you a feel like the wind, <laughs> crusty eye wink? <laughs> you feel like the wind, like, pick up around you specifically, Nez? I thought this would be an honest conversation. And you can see, like, he kind of floats up in the air a little bit. I already know. Well, and I do not care. Well, that's good. Okay, so that's out <laughs> in the open. Glad we could clear the, the air. air. <laughs> that's a good one. With that one, um, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all like chuckling, <laughs> and he's just not making any noise. <laughs> he stabs us all <laughs> with wind. That was a <laughs> wind sword. <laughs> um. So anyway, how about that the perpetual wind? Do we got to do something? Do we got to pay you something? Or can it we just, like, have it? Very presumptuous. I mean, I've heard stories that you guys... They are stories. Okay. Well, Dolo, it really looks like you could do that. Like, you look pretty powerful, and, like, you could make these these sails billow, if you know what I'm saying. Did, did you say that someone... Someone, one of us is connected to your lineage? Is that what you said? In some way, but I do not have time to figure it out. Perhaps somewhere on the ship there is some sort of Janazi or some other being from my plane. However, I am in a hurry. I merely stopped for the courtesy to see which sailors were riding into my storm. Are you gonna let us pass? Can. Uh, <laughs> so uh, you said, pleased to meet you, Carrot. And you hear, like, the voice kind of return to you. The staff that you have in your hand. Yeah. It is mine. Well, I don't... I don't know how to give it back to you. Mm, you did not acquire it on your own. It was taken from me. From where? From my temple. Where? Far to the south. That's kind of not the direction we were planning to go in. If you would be so kind as to return it... I would be most grateful. Well, do I have to return it to the temple in the south, or can I just give it to you right now? Or like maybe one of your bird pals? <laughs> no, you must return it. Wait, me? One of you. Okay, so it's not a situation it like... It must be returned. We could farm out this task. I am asking you and your crew here on this ship to return it. One of you should do it. Why? Because one of you took it from the person who stole it from my temple. It seems only fair. So what is a deal? It does a great many things, and I will give anyone who wields it access to a portion of its power. Well, wait, why are we returning it if you're going to give? It is payment for returning it. During the journey, oh, you may okay. access portions of its power. What kind of power does it have? It can summon all avian creatures in a radius to it. 
It may speak with specific avian creatures through the medium of the mind. There are others. You will learn in time if you accept this task. We can't, Nez, hold on to it. Any of you can hold on to it. Any of you can use it. Oh, so it's a shared staff? Yes, much like the spear your friend has. The spear? I have said too much. Wait. <laughs> Will you accept this task on behalf of yourself and your friends? Well, can I get some input from them? Yes. Hey, guys. You see they're way far away from you <laughs> <laughs> as you look up. The jaws. Yeah, and now you can see this guy like, floating, <laughs> floating above on the end of the deck. How soon do you need an answer? I would like it today. Okay, I think that's probably doable. If you survive the storm. Well, can you help us out with that? Perhaps. If you agree right now to do this, I will give you something that may aid you. You know, buddy, I've dealt with a lot of salesmen in my life. <laughs> I know your tactics. Yet still, you speak with me. What will it be? Let me consult my crew. Very well. Okay, I pitter patter over. Now you're like you're now you're with the rest of them. Um, you you've noticed that like uh, you guys are the only four on the deck right now. Mm, Kashmir and Loom are nowhere to be seen. Yeah, they don't yeah, seem mate. to be yeah. wimps. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Were they insinuating that one of them are Janassi, or oh. one of us is? Or a secret third thing. <laughs> <laughs> Profit. Or there's someone hiding in the ship. So we gotta stay away. to let us pass? Guys, I have a quick a quick sidebar. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, yeah. What did, what did Gareth tell you? Wait, uh, maybe you hold shouldn't on, tell guy. me. We got to talk real quick. I'm What's Can. Up, I'm sorry. I'm dealing with the god of, of birds. <laughs> right now, he's like, he's on hold. <laughs> Gareth. Yeah. You know him? I have met Gareth. Well, I've only met him in my head. I will wait. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's very considerate. We appreciate your patience. Thank you. <laughs> very polite man. Okay, so here's the deal. This staff, who took it? I think it was Nez. Well, you... At least that's what the authorities in Inoka believe. <laughs> <laughs> Kill, what? Nothing. What's up about the staff? Okay, so the staff is the staff of the god of birds, and Garrett, and he is a little pissed because he wants it returned to its temple down south. And I don't know where that is. He'll give us instructions, I think. Um, but he wants us to agree today to do that task and get it back to the temple where it was stolen from. And he told me that he would give us some of its powers while we're doing it. Did he give like a time frame that he needs this done? Maybe we don't mention that and just let him know that we will, we intend to eventually get it back to the temple. Ooh, I love that I mean, because sure. it sounds like he didn't sure, specify. Why not? You know, like, I mean, sure, whatever. Say, I got yeah, man. places I need to go okay. anyway. Add it to the list, right? Yeah, right. Garrett. Eventually, we're going to go down, right? Okay. On the mm -hmm. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> Garrett, are you still there? Yes. Okay, I think we made a decision. Oh, is it with the staff? Mm hmm. You can uh, all hear this now. Oh. All of you hear this voice in your head. Shit. Oh. <laughs> Garrett, I think we're all online now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you deliberated and come to a conclusion? Well, I have a question first. Ask. Is this like a contract? Like of the blood variety? It is not a blood contract. Is it any other kind of contract? You will be constrained by an oath. If you say that you will deliver it, then you will be obligated to deliver it eventually. Can we still, like, get in touch with you during this project? Yes, if you can find a species of my children 
that is the king of their area. You may speak to me again. Hey, did you make, like, Aarakocca and shit? I had nothing to do with that motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) I did not. My sister is the one who helped create the Aarakocca. Does Mm. Nodal Nez know who his sister is? Uh, you can have uh, a religion check with advantage. 22. 22. Uh, yeah, you've heard of, uh, you know, the, there, there's believed to be a god of Aarakocra. Um, you didn't really know that it was apparently the sister of, uh, Karif, but you know that it's, uh, Fidal. Fidal. Mm-hmm. All right. And that's... Goddess of Aarakocra. And that's F-Y-D-A-L. Well... <laughs> So, do we get something out of this? I will give you a boon. And will you help us get like through this storm? Bone? And, <laughs> like all of us, a boon? Hmm, sure. Hmm? You will also, any of you will have access to a portion of the power of the staff. How do we access it? You will hold it, and you will know how to use it. Can you help us get to, like... Some land, or like to a location, because yeah. we're a little fucked on this ship. If you could get us to, I cannot get you there, but I can indicate to you where might be a safe place to travel to in your current predicament. I like that. It's like phone a friend. Yeah, just full disclosure. We are on the run from the law. Why do you gotta tell him that? Because what if it gets in the way of our contract, and what if he's choosing a location where we'll be safe, but not from the law? But I what if he's in cahoots with the fuzz? Yeah, he did take like our, our breath, which was weird. But are you working for the law? <laughs> are you I a am cop? Law. <laughs> you have to tell us. You gotta tell us if you're a cop. <laughs> he puts a siren on his head. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Not bound by your material plane laws. You do not have to worry about me narking you, (laughs) snitching on you. Well, I'm sold. I want some free power. And if we just got to go south, then we can go south at some point. I I mean, yeah. So do you agree? Yeah. Is it kind of nearby? Like... To the no, east? Oh. It's to the south. Can you give us like an actual location? Can you show me on this map? Sure. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> and I unfurl it and lay it down on the deck. And a point to the south is immediately marked. Ooh. With a bird symbol. With bird poop. All right. I think we're in for this shit, right, guys? I mean, we we have all these we have all these gems, and we don't know what they are. And uh... yeah, calm down, fear. Such a sour puss. I'm in. Okay. <laughs> I uh, I put my put my hand towards the middle of us. Uh, I put my hand under his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I put my hand in between their hands. <laughs> I'll put my hand on top and bottom to make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we're all in. Gotta figure out this packed thing we're doing. <laughs> and then I just slap up and down <laughs> between my hands. Uh, okay. Um, I need everyone to roll a D8. All right. Are we rolling to clap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's only a D8. Collective clap. clap. Ooh. Eight. Seven. Three. I got an eight. 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 Oh, Both again. of you guys got eights? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um... Nez and Fee, suddenly, light, like, kind of explodes out of your collarbone area. (laughs) And when it fades, you have a bird symbol. The symbol of Karif on your collarbone area. What did you get, Can? Seven. Seven? Can, on your forearm, same thing happens. Bright light, and then a bird symbol appears on either your left or right forearm. You can decide. And what was yours? Three. Three. Gil. In the center of your forehead. (laughs) (laughs) A bird symbol appears. Ah. (laughs) What, does it feel like anything, or do I even know it's there? No, you would see the light. Uh, 
But you could see what happened to everybody else and probably understand. <laughs> nah, what, man. what color is the symbol? It's like it's just kind of like a slightly darker than your own skin tone. Oh, okay. Okay. Almost like a birthmark. Gotcha. Sweet. Okay. That's rad. <laughs> I like that. Is it like so f- out of world, out of character? Is it mm-hmm. like an Egyptian bird symbol uh, looking it, kind of thing? It's or? sort of like a silhouette of an albatross. Oh, okay. Okay. But yeah. Uh, wings outstretched. Uh, furled a little bit, yeah. You can tell by the head gotcha. that it's an albatross. Very Are we cool. gonna draw bad guys to us with these marks? My sect currently has no known enemies. Hmm. Sick. You should not encounter any issues unless you go to a place where the dominating religion despises other religions. You may be perceived as Everywhere. ardent followers. Interesting. And your sister is Fidal? Yes. And are you two currently getting along? We have not spoken for some time, but we did not part on uncomfortable terms. She has been gone for quite some time. Like missing? No, she left to pursue the plains. Oh. And speak with some of the Ascended. Like a sojourn. What the hell is the Ascended? That is... Hmm. Perhaps you will learn at some point. All right, well, it was nice meeting you, man. Absolutely. Does that, does that mean who I think it means? Wait, what? What? I missed and the light fades from the staff, and the albatross flies off. All right. Goodbye, Kareth. <laughs> Does this tell me the truth? Does this look weird on my head? No, it's no. barely noticeable. Okay. It's probably half inch tall. Does it's what not huge, look but... weird on your forehead? I mean, he has antlers, so. That's true. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> And I flick one of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> now that that's squared away, what are we dealing with here? <laughs> Turn back towards the fucking <laughs> JD. <laughs> hey, man. Anyway, are you going to let this go, or do you have some? Do you have some power to bestow upon us? Would you like some company? It's really hard to get a read on your demeanor. Are you the storm? I. Bring the storm. I bring this storm with all of its fury to oppose that storm which appeared in this plane. Oh. Is he talking about the storm that shipwrecked us? Talking about that crazy magic storm bullshit? Yes. It currently seals one section of the world away from the other through its insurmountable walls. Is there I intend to break those walls with my own force. Oh, so that's still fucking around, huh? Yes. And it's gotten uh, better since? Or worse? Is it worse now? Every moment it exists in this plane is worse than the last. Well, it sounds like we all have plans then. It's not a good time. Is there anything we could do to assist? Um, since you've all kind of like asked that, I will allow one of you to help and, or the rest of you to help and one of you to roll with advantage on a persuasion roll. Hmm. Can I try that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yours is probably good, not right? me. <laughs> like, way good. Your persuasion is probably yeah. much better. Yeah. Plus 15 has a, I mean. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> plus what? That's a 30. 30. He, like, looks at all of you. What is it you want? Be quick about it. Well, we would like to move and skedaddle across the ocean. And, like, a million wishes? (laughs) I do not grant most wishes. Oh, that's not none. That's not none. That's That's not none. What we got to do to get some wishes, yo? Do we we want to go to the city beneath the wave? I am a half-jinn. Ow. I do not grant wishes, but I can assist. Well, 
do we want? How far away is uh, the the temple the Cariff marked it's, on the map? It's down towards the bottom. It's a long trip. Wasn't very very south. Mm-hmm. Wasn't Cariff have... supposed to tell us a safe way to go? And now that you're looking at the map, Nez, you see to the east one of those islands is marked mm-hmm. with a bird. And then as it, okay. and then as you're like looking at it, it dissol- that bird image dissolves. Oh, okay. Is that definitely Did we all see where the bird? we want to go? Uh, if you were looking at the map, you would have seen it, yeah. And that's like way closer than the temple is? Oh, yes. This is probably, you know, a day. Okay. Whereas the temple is m- maybe months. <laughs> right on. Can okay. you scoot this over this way? And I point to where the bird was. Yes. Wait. Wait. I have to go get my friend. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I run over to get biscuit. Okay. <laughs> you get biscuit. What did we need to do? Yeah. By what the happened? Volcanoes? What happened to the uh, dolphin? And the- uh, it hasn't returned Ooh. yet. Okay. I pull biscuit in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You run back over there. Mm-hmm. All right. This is your friend. Yes. This is biscuit. Hmm. Not the vase, like if you open it up and look inside. <laughs> I see. Where would you like to go? Right there, there. You point on the map? Yes. I can summon the winds to get you traveling in that direction. I will also give you safe passage from the storm. But yes. I must go. Unless there is anything else you could offer me. I mean, we'd totally take your shit for free, buddy. Do you need anything, or...? Yes. Oh, okay. (laughs) As I am occupied with this, I cannot seek out my original intention for crossing into the material plane. I am seeking my daughter. Who's your, who's your daughter? My daughter is Sigrid. Wh- where's she at? I do not know. Oh, okay. She crossed into the material plane from the plane of air. She is young and boisterous, and I think she sought adventure. Hmm. However, I would like to see her returned. If you can find her... I will find a way of granting you a wish. Ooh, Mm. sick. Is she a Genesi? She is. Mm, It is complex. I am a half Jin. Her mother is a full Tao. Wait a minute, how does that... So you... A Jow? You did it with a, a an Earth Genie? Earth Genie. You need me to spell it out for yeah. you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that there was a thing that happened. Sometimes it happens. Um. Do they look like a Dao or like a like you kinda or? He holds his hand up, like he just swiftly moves his hand, and some of the wind comes like swirling down above it, and it like catches the light and starts to form, and you can see essentially the image Mm. of this, like, she's probably like, you know, mid-teens. She's got like a very, you can tell just from looking at her face, like, you're good at seeing uh, people with a lot of like drive, ambition, and stubbornness, Gil, like, you don't even need to roll for it. Like, she looks determined as shit. She's got a very serious look on her face, uh, kind of an angular haircut. Um, Her hair is dark, and her skin is sort of grayish green. Um, and a lot less translucent than his own. Uh, and she's got like kind of broad shoulders and what you, she probably, she might not be wearing the same thing when you see her, but she's wearing like kind of loose fitting robes. Uh, she looks very strong. Cool. All right. We'll be on the lookout for her. I will embed this into your memories. Okay. 
All right. Should, should That's we? That's never ask? happened to me before, but I'm open to. I'm just kidding. I can't do that. <laughs> oh, all right. A well. little bit of levity. So, what do we do if we, when we find her? If you find her, and he throws something onto the deck, and it kind of like bounces, and it's like this glass orb with a, like a brass ring around it uh-huh. and a little wing. We have to put her in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pokeball, right? <laughs> Throw it at her. No. Smash this. And I will come and retrieve her. Do not smash this unless you have found her. Accidentally sit on it. <laughs> go into the loo. <laughs> Oops. Okay. You summoned me? You're in a fucking outhouse. <laughs> no. <laughs> My bad. Must have been something else. There is a... Is this your ship? Truly? Truly, no. So you wouldn't mind if I took the couch that's down in the cargo <laughs> hold? Yeah, man, I didn't even know there was a couch down there. That's all yours, baby. A tendril, like, shoots out of the sky, <laughs> goes, like, downstairs, and returns, like, a moment later, carrying one of the couches, and then just sucks it back into the storm. Nez whips out his uh, notebook from his satchel the and inventory. makes a scrawl <laughs> real quick. <laughs> All right, well, it was nice meeting you. Should yes. uh, should we ask him about the gems? Is that what did thing? you say? I was saying this as an aside to the group. Should we ask him about the gems? Gems? <laughs> <laughs> the gens? <laughs> the Gen Z? Yeah, tell me about them gens. <laughs> it's pronounced Jen. <laughs> Tell I mean, me about the Gen Z Gen Genasi. You may as well ask him whatever while he's here. Oh, are they super <laughs> smart and powerful? From yeah, what you from know. what I would have read. Yeah, they're, they're definitely powerful at a uh, full gen for sure. Okay, then yeah. Before you go, can you just take a look at these gems? We have these that were used for horrible reasons, and these that we think maybe could be used for horrible reasons, but. I don't know. He, like, just glances at him for a second. Those are enhancements. If you can find someone who can affix them to a weapon or piece of armor. We gotta get us an artificer. The spider web one is, too. Oh, are you asking about those? Yeah, I was pulling both out. Yeah, I have those in one hand and the other ones. The potentially bad ones. And he looks at the other ones. I do not know what those gems are. Yeah. That's not great. That's why I wanted to go. Much like yourselves, they are cut off from the currents of fate. Hmm. Wait. (laughs) (laughs) Much like ourselves. It's like, fucking what, bro? (laughs) Are we sure we don't want to wish to go to the city beneath the waves to get these taken care of? You are cut off from fate. How did that happen? When did that happen? I do not know. You still have the ozine of fate around you. Oh, so but reason. you are severed from it. So does that mean we get to choose our own adventure? It would appear that is the case. Cool. But those gems are shrouded in a veil that even my sight cannot pierce. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know how to advise you, but the ones in the other hand are enhancements. I must go. What are your names so that I might remember you? Just quick question with the group before you sent us off. Um... Are we sure we don't want to go to the city beneath the waves to get these fucking gems taken care of? Because we do have someone after them, after us for these gems. Is that why we were going there? Yes. Wait, who's <laughs> after us for these gems? Remember the guy who appeared at the beach and said he'd be back for them in like a day or two? Man, fuck that guy. Uh, we haven't that seen that That guy dude. was like the lamest, He's he way out of person we've and encountered. He just went back there. That's not why they wanted us to go down there. Yeah, that is. No, we Seriously, were supposed to go Is that not? We're, one of the... That's what he we wanted told. you to go there mm-hmm. to take care of those gems. 
um, you guys needed to go to Shieldbreaker right. to talk to the skin. That's where the volcano stuff, mm-hmm. inactive one is, right? No. No. The You're <laughs> thinking of the volcanic ridge, which is A separate. Se- something separate <laughs> and where oh, no. Can's former uh, village mate traveled. But those to. are all towards the east, right? North and west and east, so more north. So south but the, takes us away from all three. But the passage that was located on the map was notated by Karif to be this a safe route, a safe place to go. And whether you choose, yes, whether mm-hmm. you choose to go there or not is up to you. But he, but um, Athe has said, wherever you choose to go, you'll have safe passage from the storm. Can you send us like anywhere? Anywhere the winds can send you. Yes, I can shoot you in that direction. Whether you arrive is up to you. This ship is far too large for a crew of your size. Uh, Agreed. I feel like we should just go to the closest land that's safe and then deal with that shit when we can. Because if he pushes us way far into course, then we won't have any supplies or crew to run the ship. Yeah, we have to take care of this ship problem. But we could get a different ship if we're at a city. You right? didn't... You said to send us to the place beneath the waves or whatever. Mm-hmm. We don't know what that is necessarily. And if it's a city that stocks anything or... Um, how far away is that? Two weeks. That's a long way right. away. Right, exactly. So that's why I'm like, if we're going to go, like if we have a wish to get us that direction, that would be the time. It's He's well, not basically wish, just going to give us a right. push. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's just going boost in us. Okay. Like, I don't think he can get us two weeks out. He can point us in the direction. Okay. And all those places are like Four. over a week out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. The one that is indicated on the map is like a day. Okay. Like a daylight day or like a 24 hour day? Mm, 24 hours. Like we'll get this shit done eventually. I know we get keep getting side quests added to our inventory. <laughs> Such is the danger of being cut from fate. I didn't know that was related. But yeah, I mean, I personally think we go to this little island for now. I mean, yeah, if it's closest, that's just what makes the most sense. I support that. I agree. Then where shall I send you? Captain? Dude, to the, the little island right there. The, with the, Yeah, that one. Okay. What were your names so <laughs> I might remember you? I am Gildebrand Molani. I'm um, Ezra Casio. I'm Gan. Kanaganga. Um, Ophelia? Rai Midori? Excellent. Thank you for this conversation. I hope to see you again with my daughter in tow. Now I will do battle, storm versus storm, and we will see which might prevails. What are you talking about? That sounds super cool. Oh, the war with the giant wall of shit and stuff? I will break it. Let us know if you need yeah, us. Yeah, totally, dude. Yep. Perhaps when you have broken through more auras, then you can assist. Or- right auras? Fucking what, dude? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, what auras? Your auras are purple, middling at best. Perhaps when you grow, as it stands, your auras are high wood. You will need to be at least obsidian before you can assist with this endeavor. I must go. Thank you. And he like disperses in a cloud of mist. <laughs> and uh, he- shit. As he does, you guys feel the wind pick up. Your sails, like, bow, as if they're catching wind, and you feel the water churning as the ship itself begins to turn more east. And then the wind (sighs) 
shoves you guys along. And Gil, you would imagine you guys are probably moving like maybe like eight miles an hour, about twice the speed a ship normally goes um, and sends you off. But then you guys notice the storm continues in the same direction, Mm. traveling right at you guys. Mm. But as it does, the minute it gets close to you, it parts around you, creating like almost a mile of a bubble, like a safety bubble, Mm -hmm. and continues to pass beyond, but there's always that bubble where it passes over you guys as you guys are still getting picked up by this wind and heading in this direction. Hmm. Sweet. All right, which one of you is a Genasi? (laughs) (laughs) I'm pretty sure I'm not a Genasi, but I also don't exactly know what happened before, you know, the first time you met me. But I'm thinking probably not. Isn't it, like, pretty obvious when someone's a Genasi? Not always. I have a relative that's kind of related to Genasi. He looks kind of like me a little bit. Well, maybe you're a Genasi. I'm not a Genasi, okay? Are you sure? Yes, I know who my parents are. Well, I'm not a Genasi. Clearly. You guys have this storm raging all around you <laughs> while you guys are having this conversation. So we're like, probably like yelling, I'm not a genasi. It's, it's actually very calm oh, other good. than the wind okay. around you, but like, you know, yeah. like a mile we're in that the eye way. Of the storm. Yeah, you're in the literal eye of the storm. Like mm-hmm. it just parted around you. <laughs> That's and it's so just, fun. as if you were to look into it, it's thick with clouds, lightning, thunder. Like it is intense and it seems to go on forever you gotta let it go joe <laughs> what about you ken you look the difference from other halflings hell your skin is different looking like magical <laughs> other people don't have this <laughs> Nah, they look like loom usually but the little i think that this is just me related and not Genasi related. I haven't heard anything about Genasi. Maybe we've got some pretenders on this ship. Is that it possible be. that Loom or uh, Kashmir are Genasi? Cash money might be. Is it possible we have a stowaway that we don't yet know about? I need to add them to the. Oh, what is it called? The. Inventory? No. Uh, the manifest. Ledger? Manifest. Oh. <laughs> need to add them to the manifest if that's the case. I feel like we scoured this ship. Do we care if anyone's a Genasi? I mean, it drew this guy to us and gave us this power and stuff. Maybe this other person's also powerful and shit. If nothing else, I'm very curious about it now. I mean, we could go find the prince and loom. Yeah, let's see what they're up to. We'll go look for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Um, so are you all going to go look for the Prince and Loom? Yeah. Scooby-Doo time. Yeah. And then I think we should probably rest. That's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. Can this count as part of out. a long rest? <laughs> no, this is too intense. Okay. <laughs> all right. Fair. Talking to gods and genies yeah. and shit. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah. So you guys head down below deck. And <laughs> Are you dead? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I passed out. I'm tired. Sorry. Uh, you guys head down below deck, and immediately you guys see blood. Oh, no. <gasps> what? What? What color is it? It's normal blood color. Is that green? Red. <laughs> <laughs> it's red. Okay. It's on the stairs. Shit. A lot of it? It's a decent amount. Decent amount? Like, oh, no, I didn't, like catch it on a nail. Yeah, no. It was it looks like oh no, somebody tried chop to my arms gut and me. Off, yeah. Okay, cool. Great. <laughs> chop my arms and legs off. <laughs> well, well, I know a lot wound. of blood. A flesh wound. Okay. Got it. I know who I know. I know who I hope it's not. Are you guys going to pursue? Yeah. There's a pretty clear trail. Uh, yeah. Cashmere? Loom? You don't hear anything. Fuck. Uh Guys, this isn't good. 
Ah, oh, suck it up. It's just a little bit of blood, man. I mean, that's a lot of bit of blood. <laughs> Either way, we got to. If book you guys it. can't stomach this amount of blood, you can't be pirates. Okay. <laughs> I think it's someone bigger than me because I don't think I even have that much blood that inside quite a me. Bit of blood, but I mean, just be on Let's guard. Let's go. It's fine. We got this. <laughs> we'll be on guard. Okay. Let's go. All right. Um, you guys continue following this trail. Uh, it leads you to the cargo hold area. The door is closed. Do you think when he reached in to get a couch, he knocked someone down? Oh. Can we open nah. it? <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. I'm going to open it. Like, can the door open? It was what I meant. All right, you guys open the door, and the scene that you see Fuck. is intense. Floating in the middle of the room is Loom. His eyes are closed, and he's surrounded by this, like, golden light. And on the ground in front of him is the crumpled body, the bloody body of the prince. And that's where we're going to end for the night. Fucking I was supposed to keep him safe, and I made him more Nice job, Lindsay. (sighs) Wow. So the body, not... We're not calling it, like, him... It's just his body. Mm. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck indeed. Ew. All oh, right, now it's time for tonight's MVPC. <laughs> the most valuable <laughs> player character. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know who who deserves an additional 1d10 of DM inspiration. Now, for those of you listening, and for those of you around the table, Nez is 1, Gil is 2, Fee is 3, and Can is 4. On the count of 3, I want you guys to hold up the number of fingers corresponding to the person you believe deserves to be MVPC. I'll give you a moment to decide, and then we will vote. Yeah, this one's hard. One, two, three, vote! We've got two votes for Fee, one vote for Nez, and one vote for Can. Can, why'd you vote for Nez? Uh, he had the staff. He brought in uh, this bird god and made the intro there. And I think that's giving us a new course, and I like that. Excellent. Useful. Fee, why'd you vote for Can? Um, well, first of all, I loved how she called Care of Carrot. I think that's great. <laughs> and it was good that she was able to hold the staff and be there to talk with him because yeah, that was tricky. And yeah, I don't I'm I'm glad she got Biscuit too, because you did get him, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. I feel like Biscuit's gonna come in clutch. I'm glad she got Biscuit. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gil, why'd you vote for Fee? Uh, thinking first with emotion and stuff and at risk to herself, trying to like square up, but then also like having a differing opinion and trying to keep all the coals in the fire that are burning. So excellent. And Nez, why'd you vote for Fee? The deliberation. Mm-hmm. Uh, trying to juggle everything and make sure that we're trying to tackle the most pertinent task at hand and being vocal about uh, all of those different things instead of us just going, ooh, piece of candy, (laughs) and (laughs) moving on to the next side quest, Um, which isn't bad either, but it's it's good to have somebody going, hey, wait a minute, what about? So It's a very bosun of you. (laughs) Bosun. Excellent. That means tonight's MVPC is Ophelia Rimadori. Take your 1D10 and uh, use it to bludgeon your opponents with so you can win the argument. We're to try to bring a prince back. Damn. He might not be dead. He might be in just another form. He might be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> He's just taking a nap. nap. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for tonight, folks. Thanks for listening. Thanks to Adrian von Ziegler for that beautiful background music. Uh, thanks to all you listeners, too. That was, you know, great of you to just sit there during this super intense episode. You know, we, we were noticing your tension and we appreciate it. You're the real MVPCs. Right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're the MVPCs of our hearts. <laughs> uh, if you like what you hear, you can leave a review and let us know how much 
you like it or don't like it, really. We will read every review we receive on air. You can consider leaving a rating. Uh, Apple Podcasts is great for that, but you can leave a rating wherever you can leave ratings. We would love a five-star review. We won't tell you what to do, but, you know, we would really appreciate that. (laughs) I like the idea of somebody listening to 61 episodes of a podcast and being like, I don't like this. (laughs) Five stars. (laughs) I mean, no matter what, no review is ever going to beat the fuck is this? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Angry. Out of the mouth of babes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, also, an additional way you can support us is heading over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash D20 underscore syndicate. Uh, consider making us warlocks. Check out the tiers, bonus content, access to behind the scenes stuff. Uh, yeah, just a, just little songs, little ditties. Uh, you know, um, we're making some moves and some plans for some additional options to bring forth. But there's also a ton of other stuff at higher tiers. Check it out. See if there's anything that trips your crossbow. Check out our Discord because it is free. That's right. It is our Discord. Come hang out with us and our legions of fans as we say dumb bullshit uh, ad nauseum. Uh, the link is in the episode description, so go ahead and click that bad boy and join up. It'll be fun. Also, we have merch. If you'd like to rock the D20 Syndicate swag, head on over to T Public. check out the D20 Syndicate merch page, and, you know, buy some. Why not? Treat yourself. Other than that, that's it for tonight, folks. Thanks for listening. See you next week. I am your host and DM, Seth, and this is the D20 Syndicate Podcast, where we go on adventures so you don't have to. Headwood! Bye. 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 Have a bit of a lie down. Floating man. I hope he's a friend and not gonna hurt us because we don't have a whole lot of spell slots. Yeah. January, February. January, February? <laughs> January, Brambuary. <laughs> Crambiary. And Ambiary. Yeah. What would you guys do if that's what I thought the actual months were? I'd be very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kids, January, Bamju Jerry. Bamjeria. Bamjeria. I mean, kaleidoscope Matt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>